branch off into the third. All right, let's see if we can measure zero to 60 time now. Hello, hello, and welcome to Accident on Cars. Today's we will have a special episode. Today I'm gonna announce the giveaway to thank all of you for watching my content and then I'm gonna take you on a virtual POV driving experience in my W211 E63 AMG. Hello, hello, and welcome to Accident on Cars. Those of you who have been watching my videos from the beginning know that I've been doing giveaways from day one. Uh, actually, since I hit 50 subscribers and I promised to do giveaways along the way. So here I am today with another giveaway and I'm celebrating 500 subscribers. 500 subscribers, wow, the mind is blown. You guys are amazing. I can't stress this enough. I'm very appreciative for all of you who watch, who share my content, who like, because you know, and, and comment. Likes and comments are extremely important for, for YouTube because they help the channel grow and they ensure that the channel ends up in more people's feeds on YouTube. So a special thanks to those who like and share and comment. So without further ado, let me announce what the gifts are and then we're gonna be going on, uh, on, a, on a virtual POV driving experience. All right, so last time I did a giveaway, I was celebrating 300 subscribers. And back then I had multiple gifts for you guys. And one of them was extremely popular. A lot of people reached out. So that gift, the, the extremely popular gift was the dash cam. It's a dual dash cam. It can film the, both the front and the rear of the car. A lot of people were interested in it. And one person, uh, a lucky person won it. That's why gift of this giveaway is that same dash cam. AZ dash cam films both front and the back of the car. And uh, the, the price of it is uh, a little over 100 bucks. And I have a second gift. Uh, so there will be two winners. And here what it is. It's a humidifier, it's a refresher. It's winter right now, but you're gonna love it in, uh, in the summertime, which is around the corner. Oh, you can use it as a humidifier today. All right, and the, the rules for participating in giveaway are as always very simple. All you need to do is you need to like this, this video. You need to like one more video from my channel. You need to subscribe and you need to share this video on Facebook or on Instagram. All right, to repeat, you're liking this video. You're liking one more video of any, any video of mine. You subscribe. You share the video, this particular video, on Facebook or Instagram. You take screenshots of all of it. You email it to me to accidentoncars at gmail.com. And that's it. No gimmicks, no pay me this, buy that, like some of the people do. Is that enough? I think it is. Let's go for a POV ride, and I'm going to tell you a little more about W211 E63 AMG. All right, let's go for, for a POV. I'm going to turn the stabilization off for now. <laughs> All right, so what is it like to be behind the wheel of W211 E63 AMG? Uh, first of all, like, once we are in here, it's a pre pretty pleasant place to be, isn't it? Oh, by the way, let's put the car in Sport 2, the suspension. It's in the stiffest suspension uh, setting. Like, look at the materials and everything. Uh, you know, has aged really well. I think this is a very good interior in terms of quality and the design this car is 13 years old but this interior still beats most of the cars that they they make nowadays for example it doesn't look better than an interior of a new hyundai or camry in my mind it does uh, change the speedometer to modern looking a uh, colored uh, screen or even like just a colored uh, instrument cluster change the the, the head unit uh, you know, to a larger screen without the buttons on the side, and voila, all of a sudden you have an interior, you had a dashboard that looks like uh, made in 2021. In my mind, uh, this is a timeless design. I love this so much. No offense to W212 owners, but I always felt like W212 interior was too angular and design wise will not age as great as this one does. The steering itself, the leather, and I mean, you know, I'm taking great care of this car and uh, 
uh, the seats, everything, it looks like brand new. Uh, and I made a video on how to keep your leather seats in the best condition and make them look like a day one. If you haven't seen that video, it's gonna pop on top right corner and it's also going to be in the description. All right, uh, but today we are talking about driving experience, okay? So one thing that's strange, and uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see from the video, but the, the steering wheel itself is shifted to the right a little. It's not perfectly centered. I think it's the right diameter. It's not too big like W210 was, for example. The steering wheel in W210 was. It's a perfect size, and it is the diameter, you know, the thickness, not too thin, not too thick. Really pleasure holding in your hand. It, the steering rack is, uh, you know, sporty, it's fast. It's not as fast as the W213, the very latest AMG is, for example, uh, but it is much more direct, linear, and you feel much more connected to the road. Why? Because it's power uh, electromechanically assisted. It's not electrical assisted like most of the cars are nowadays. At any given time, I can really feel where the wheels are. You feel the road really well as if you, if you had your own feet on the asphalt on the pavement. If there's an imperfection on the road, if there's a waveness on the road, you do want to feel that as a driver and you do. So in that regards, it, uh, the, the, the way that the, the steering rack is balanced and uh, adjusted, it is 505. Uh, I love Airmatic suspension, this one. Some people will convert to coilovers. Those of you who do, you have no, you guys are crazy. Because <laughs> you're ruining the car, really. Like, unless you are building a track ready car, you shouldn't be doing it because you don't want to ruin the car. Uh, and Airmatic is so much better than in W212. Uh, in Sport 2, in its stiffest setting, it can be stiff, but it's not. It's never harsh like in W212 or in W213. It stays really flat in turns, and yet it's still comfortable for cruising. Right now we are going 73. I'm in Sport 2, the car is like nice and flat. And I can like attack this turn all day long. The transmission uh, is a seven-seven speed automatic. It can be. Uh, it has three settings: comfort, sport, and manual. The best driving experience is delivered in manual. Man, when you put it in manual, you will see it in a minute when I do it. The car screams. You can like rev it all the way up to. Uh, 7200 sometimes even past 7200 rpm you go into like 7500 rpm range and each time you touch the, uh, the, the 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 paddles this beautiful cold chrome or aluminum paddles to upshift that's just so satisfying and uh, sport is pretty good uh, in my experience i could do the best zero, six, zero to 60 time which we are also going to measure soon in sport setting with the uh, traction control on. With the traction control off, it struggles to put the power down. But if your goal is to giggle and smile like a baby, uh, you know, and be like, have a full pants of joy, if that makes sense, your bet best, best bet is the manual mode. All right, now we're gonna go on a on a on a back road here and see, uh, drive it a little, toss it around. I don't know, man. Like, th there are so many E55 owners and others who like talk shit about E63s. Uh, you know, people will talk about its issues. People will talk about its reliability issues. Most of those issues, believe me, trust me, uh, are over exaggerated. Okay, most people talking shit about W211 E63 either don't have Mercedes at all or they have E55. E55 is a fantastic car, has an even more torque than this, doesn't have as much horsepower and doesn't feel as refined as E63 is. E63 is really refined and fine-tuned versus E55 is more like a muscle car with instant torque, but the transmission in that one is really slow to downshift because it's a five speed versus seven speed in this one is really smooth in comfort. You are not feeling uh, any shifts. In terms of reliability, both transmissions, the five speed or seven speed are equally reliable. Both can suffer from the conductor plate or uh, valve body failures. Other than that, they are solid transmissions 
and uh, they will serve you a long time if you service them every 40,000 miles. All right, our turn, let's go. All right, the traffic is dense today. <laughs> it yells, it yells. You know you hear people like talking about head bolts and head bolt failures, cam failures, all of that. Just know that those issues are over exaggerated. I'm not saying they never happen, they happen. The failure rates are really low and usually happens in neglected cars. E55 has a stronger engine, but E55 has in general have so many more, so many issues than E63. And you don't have to take my word for it. Just go on forum on, on Mercedes groups on Facebook and you'll see all the posts are from E55 owners. Uh, posting about various failures, electronics, and beside. Over here, let's put it in the manual for a second, okay. Third gear. It's a blast to toss this around. <laughs> toss this around. Boom! <laughs> yeah, you just can toss this and upshift. The transmission, like once the engine revs, higher than 4,000 RPMs. <laughs> just like touching this right paddle to upshift feels so satisfying. You just, the engine revs, you go woo, and then you touch it and you go boom, boom, woo, boom. <laughs> it's just a sheer joy. This is not a cornering machine. I'm not saying this is a Porsche. I'm not even saying this is like an M3 or 663. No, not even close, but it is an E-Class, it's the largest sedan. You can, right now, I don't know if you can see it, but right now I have my uh, baby car seat on the back. I have the baby stroller in the trunk. Uh, you know, it's a family car, it's a large car, and yet you can have tons of fun in it. You can burn out, you can power slide. My car does not, this particular one does not have uh, electronically, uh, you know, limited slip differential. However, it uses it mimic it uses brakes to mimic LSD, and it does a fantastic job. I always leave double lines on the road when I accelerate from a standstill. When you power slide, it will let you to power slide, but it will prevent you from spinning 360. And basically, it will help you to stay alive. You know, it doesn't want you to die. Yep, I hope you could hear that. Even my phone, <laughs> wow. This phone, it was over here in the compartment because of the acceleration, it flew all the way back. I barely caught it. <laughs> it is, the engine, I have a stock engine, but even with the stock engine, it screams. It loves to scream. And if you wanna hear what it sounds like, with a resonated delete or resonant delete with X pipe tune headers. I made a video uh, comparing various exhaust setups. Go ahead and check them out. Uh, it's gonna pop up on the top right screen or it's also going to be in the description. So you can make this car sound even much nicer and aggressive, but I love it even as stock. Just like find the road where you can like rev it up and let it scream as high as it can and you will have an audio, audible orgasm, your ears will thank you. Oh gosh, I wish this Volkswagen wasn't in front of me. By the way, it's an Atlas and I recently reviewed one. If you guys are interested in the Volkswagen Atlas, go ahead and check out the video, it's gonna pop on the screen. <laughs> Man, like, Manual is the way to drive this car. Like, like, just look at this, it's holding the gears and I can like avoid potholes on the street just like this. I can toss this around and have as much fun as I want to. But let's go around this corner. <laughs> Hopefully you could see how flat it stayed. When, you, when going fast around corners like this, you wanna make sure you look further out. This might sound like an obvious advice, but some people look right behind them. But no, you wanna look further out to be as safe as you can. This is not my full-time job or anything. This is my hobby. And I like cars, I like 
talking to car, other car guys through this channel. I've made friends with other people who provide their cars for reviews, you know, Mercedes and not uh, other brands. So if you have a car, like any car really, uh, and you are in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, connects good, in the southern parts of uh, Maine, doesn't matter, I could travel to you. But if you have a nice car and you want me to review it, uh, hit me up on Instagram or email, Facebook, and I'll be more than happy to come to you and review your car. And you could be in the video yourself too, you know, I would love to ask you questions about your car. We have a famous reviewer from over here from Massachusetts by the name of Ted Ward. He is the POV guy, so I'm not trying to steal his bread. <laughs> POV is his bread, but you know I thought it would be fun to do the to do POV today. All right, let's 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 have some fun. Downshift into the third. <laughs> that is. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, when you are in the right gear in manual mode, it just like goes. This truck apparently wants to race. It just took off. Oh, even this Honda wants to race. <laughs> no Honda, no Civic. I am not racing you. All right, let's see if we can measure zero to 60 time now. All right, so like I said, I'm probably not gonna have the best zero to 60 time and you know, it's cold outside i'm on uh i'm on old season tires stabilization is on so that we can have a little bit of traction otherwise we're gonna have too much of a wheel spin but i think it was a Pretty health acceleration, wasn't it? So it says that the 60 to 90 in 3.74 and 0 to 60 in 4.42. 4.42, guys, that's on all season tires on a cold day. How amazing is that? I think the factory number is like 4.1 or something. <laughs> Man, and this is a 13 years old AMG. It will like kill most cars of uh, of nowadays i don't know man like put put a, like cup two tires on it or some like really nice summer tire tires warm them up maybe you would even be able to do them in like 3.9 or something i doubt it most likely will struggle with the traction i think four is the best probably like the best you will get so drag also says that i did quarter mile in 1252 but you know i let it go i didn't uh hold my foot on the gas for long enough all right uh yeah in summary driving w211 e63 amg is a blast it is so much fun i really think that you should you guys if you are in market don't listen to the naysayers go get one this is the last naturally aspirated AMG. I want you to pause for a second and process that. The last naturally aspirated AMG. This is the last of the kind of its kind. They've gone extinct. All you have nowadays are the turbocharged. Even that is gonna die soon. You know, you will have electric. The, the modern, the new engines are good. I'm not saying anything bad, but they don't deliver the same experience. They're not as linear as the natural aspirated. This car is like so linear. This engine is so linear. The more you rev it, the faster you go and the more torque comes. And then you hit the red line and you shift, you upshift. Oof. <laughs> Make sure you participate in the giveaway. Your dash cam is waiting for you. I look forward to connecting with more of you. You can find me on Instagram and uh, Facebook or on my email. Uh, thank you again, and I'll see you in the future episodes.